I'm at Lowe's and I want to give you a washer buying guide. I'm going to start here with this May tag that they have on the end cap here. This is nothing more than a gimmick. This is a pet hair remover. I know it's going to pull some stuff out. And if you have pets, you may want to consider a Speed Queen, but obviously Speed Queen doesn't want to sell through uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. So skip that one. I'm going to skip front loaders for the day and just talk about the top loaders. Anything Samsung top loader, I know it's pretty and I know it's deep, but trust me, you don't want a Samsung top loader. This is junk. This is just something that's going to cost you more in the long run. Don't fall for it. A lot of times when I go into these big box stores, I ask the people that work here which one they recommend, and a lot of times they'll say that. And listen, don't fall for it. Don't listen to them. Don't buy a cheap Samsung. It will cost you a lot of money in the long run. Even their budget machines continue to have problems. They're plagued with issues. A lot of the plastic components break or you can't get the motherboard. And most technicians won't even work on Samsung anymore because of the bad reputation it leaves. Now, this is a good buy, the LG. Um, if you're looking for American made, look elsewhere. Uh, LG, I call it looks good. It's nice and shiny. When it comes to top load washers, this is a, actually a good unit. Um, refrigerators, stay away from LG. Top load washer, if you can get a good deal on this, you might consider it. Uh, when you move over here, we're gonna see your real basic Whirlpool. These are always a good buy, a $500 unit. Can't really go wrong. I would strongly recommend you get the one with the agitator. This is a dual action agitator. This is a durable unit. More than likely, you're gonna have a problem with the suspension first. And when that happens, if you learn how to do it yourself, you can save yourself some serious time and money. When it comes to some of the other ones, again, here's another LG top load. Not bad. Um, I like this one with the agitator. Again, I do prefer agitators. It's gonna do a much better job as far as getting things clean. So stay away from impellers. It makes sense. Uh, it uses less water, less electricity, but people always complain that it doesn't get their clothes clean. So stay away from the impeller. If you've got a lot of laundry to do, if you're a small family, then maybe one with an impeller will work for you. Low levels. But again, I say go with the agitator. You can't go wrong. Coming around the aisle. Then we run into the GE Profile. This is Energy Star. A lot of good reviews on this particular machine. This is made in America. It's got most of the features you're looking for. This is the one with the wash plate or the impeller. You can get it that actually has the agitator. That's the one I recommend. This is the new GE line. And this is probably going to end up replacing their 465, which is that one right there. Um, again, good reviews coming out on this one. American made, got a lot of the features. But just remember, it is a lot of electrical components. This is more of a motherboard than this classic 465 model. Now again, this is not mechanical, but it's, a, it's kind of a tried and true system four and a half cubic feet. A lot of people use these for years. You can buy this, the suspension yourself for you know, 10 bucks per rod. So it's an affordable repair if that's what goes wrong. This is its little brother. I think this is a 335 model. And so it's a different wash, a different drive, I should say. And um, now notice this is the old style latch. Those are cheap. All the new ones with GE are actually going to come with this heavy duty lid latch that they first introduced on the commercial. If you're not familiar with the GE commercial unit, it comes with a five year warranty. I strongly recommend it. They're trying to compete with Speed Queen. Then you have this Maytag. Please stay away from this unit. It's only gonna cost you money. It's not the Maytag that your mama had. This one has a lot of problems. Let's see, some other Maytag. Well, here's this cheap LG. Not so sure about this unit. Um, that other one would be a better one, I believe. Another Maytag to avoid has the power agitator. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but um, it's American made, that's good. But these often have problems with the computer components. They just haven't quite perfected it yet. Here's a more basic one. Now this one suckers the people because I think it's a silverback, kind of like that Whirlpool I showed you. But this one actually has a lot of problems it's known for having issues with the electronics. And let me show you again, you can find this in a Maytag or a Whirlpool. This is a much better buy than this newer style Maytag. This one is gonna cost you in the long run. Uh, here's one of their new fancy ones. Again, 
This is a gimmick. This is nothing but problems waiting to happen. Stay away from the gimmicks. Just go with the agitator. You won't regret it. Moving around to the last aisle here. Basic Whirlpool. Again, once Whirlpool figures out their motherboards where they quit having all the problems, it'll be a lot better. I want to support American-made brands. Again, here's the new gimmick. Everybody's got a gimmick these days. This one's the basic one. Computer control board problems. Now listen, this one is going to have more issues than that one. That one's a little more durable. Then you get down to this. Again, this is a gimmick. Look at this. When you pull it out and look at it, this is a display model, and it's already got a bunch of notches in it just from wear and tear. Now, what's going to happen in a few years of using this? It's going to cause some problems. This one's a winner. Let me show you the next one. This is a real basic Amana. This is a good buy. If they have this in your lows, get this one. This is a budget machine. Um, a lot of people use these for years and don't have any problems. It is a workhorse. This is the one that is slightly larger. It's a little bit bigger. Has a little bit more room than that other Whirlpool I was showing you. Um, you may find that smaller Amana. That's a good one also. It's a, I think a three and a half cubic foot. This one's slightly, I think, I think it's a 3.9 if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it's a 3.8 for 4.78. So that's a pretty good buy also. That's one I would recommend. And I think that's pretty much it here at the local Lowe's. I really do hope this saves you some money. So what have you learned? Some of the LGs are good. All of your Samsungs are bad. Some of your Whirlpools and Maytags are good. Same thing with GE. Go with the older style units instead of some of the newer ones and you'll have less problems. I hope this helps save you some money. Have a great day. This has been the Appliance Insider.